Hey gorgeous peeps, this is Chris from Techspert and I'm here with the Xperia XZ3, Sony's latest flagship phone. I've been using it as my full-time blower for three days now and that's obviously far too early for a proper in-depth review, not that that would stop everyone here on YouTube of course, but I thought I'd just share a few of my early thoughts. I found a few things that I really love about the Xperia XZ3 and a few bits that frankly deserve a kick in the knackers as well. So here's my full love hate list for the Xperia XZ3 and stay tuned for an in-depth review over on Recombu in a few days time. Oh and don't forget to poke the old subscribe button, yeah? Charles. So the first thing that I obviously love is the drool-worthy design. The Xperia XZ3 could not look any better, even if it slipped on some hot pants, greased up its nipples and busted out some Saturday Night Fever moves. This stunning Bordeaux red model is more than a match for the similarly pimped up Oppo Find X, with curves in all of the right places. The way that sloped rear catches the light is something sublime. Frankly, I think I might have to go and take a cold shower or something right now. The Xperia XZ3 isn't just a pretty boy though. That dangerously dazzling appearance masks a smartphone that's tough as old boots. You get Gorilla Glass 5 slapped on both ends and full IP68 water and dust resistance as well, which means that Sony's new flagship can take a beating and still drag itself up, spit out the blood and beg for more. Pure filth. Not everything about the Sony Xperia XZ3's design is lovable though, which brings us on to the first hate section, security. That fingerprint sensor on the back end is still as awkwardly positioned as it was on the Xperia XZ2. Come on Sony, you need to listen to the feedback. Basically, to unlock the XZ3 you'll need to be double jointed or really get used to holding your smartphone in a whole new and interesting way. And to make matters worse, there is no facial recognition on the Xperia XZ3, something that the likes of the Oppo Find X, the OnePlus 6, the Huawei P20 series and even quite a lot of mid-range mobiles now offer. It's a very convenient alternative and sadly it's missing in action here. But enough of the hit, let's get back onto the love with Sony's absolutely dazzling display. The XZ3 is Sony Mobile's first flagship phone to rock a full OLED panel. It's spacious at 6 inches, it's super bright and those incredible colours and contrast make for some really punchy and good looking visuals. And as usual the XZ3's display is fully customisable too. You can play around with the colour reproduction to get it just the way you like it. And then of course there's Sony's X Reality Engine which boosts SDR quality visuals to almost HDR levels and can also boost full HD video so it looks almost quad HD plus resolution. You can expect some seriously tentpole inducing visuals when you're kicking back with a bit of Netflix, YouTube or whatever ever else you fancy. Of course it's not all great and the rather pointless dynamic vibration system once again makes a return from the XZ2 and it's just as pointless here on the XZ3. For those who don't know this is basically a rumble feature, it simply reacts to any noise that goes on when you're busy watching a video and it makes the phone shake like it's having some kind of fit. If you're watching a bit of Marvel or something like that, you better hold on tight to that Xperia XZ3 or it's going to leap right out of your hand. Thankfully, you can just simply knock it off if you don't like it, so it's nothing to really get your knickers in a twist about. Back on love and Sony's Xperia XZ3 camera tech is once again excellent. The new Sony app makes navigating to the required features smooth and easy. It's very intuitive so any Sony noobs will have no trouble getting to grips with it. And of course it's once again packed with impressive smarts including the ability to shoot 4K HDR video with some really strong image stabilisation. Plus of course you get the industry leading super slow motion feature if that's your bag and a bit of 3D face scan action which works with either the front or the rear cameras. However, when all is said and done, the Sony Xperia XZ3 does basically rock the same camera hardware as the previous generation, so Xperia XZ2 owners will definitely have no reason at all to upgrade. And while we understand the reasons why Sony couldn't slap on the excellent dual lens shooter from the XZ2 Premium, it is a real shame that the XZ3 flagship phone does not boast the ultimate Sony smartphone optics of 2018. Another feature passed on from previous Sony Xperia smartphones is of course Remote Play, and I still absolutely adore this feature. It basically allows you to stream your PlayStation 4 gaming session direct to the XZ3's gorgeous OLED panel so you can get a good bit of gaming on the go in bed, in the bogs, even in the bath thanks to that water resistance. If you're as addicted to God of War as I am then frankly no worries. As always it's nice and easy to set up and it works a charm streaming perfectly across your home Wi-Fi. As long as your home Wi-Fi doesn't suck of course. Now the final topic of discussion doesn't live in love or hate, it lurks somewhere in that murky middle grey area known only as Undecidedsville. And yes I know that's a bit of an arse name for it but frankly I'm a few whiskies in and I don't really give a shit anymore. Feel free to come up with your own alternative names for it though down in the comments below. The item for discussion is the side sense feature, one of the only new software bits bolted onto the Xperia XZ3. This just allows you to double tap the side of the Xperia XZ3's display and this pops up a handy little shortcuts 
menu with various apps and features that you might need. Unfortunately, I've never really found a use for it. I mean, all the stuff that's in the SideSense menu, you can quickly access from your desktops or the notifications panel or using various other Sony shortcuts. For instance, swiping your thumb across the navigation bar in order to operate the one-handed mode. And other uses for that double tap feature, such as taking a shot with the camera, are a bit pants to be honest. I mean, doing that just shakes the entire phone and gives you a rubbish, blurry result. And I've also found that I activate SciSense quite a lot by accident, and in fact I've done it about 12 times just since I started this video. Cue real. Hey gorgeous peeps, this is Chris from Techspert, and I'm here with Sony's Xperia XZ3. Ah, you little f***ing I've done it again. <laughs> I found a lot to love about the Xperia XZ3, and a lot to hate as well, like this that keeps popping up. So yeah, basically I found SideSense a wee bit annoying and I'm yet to find any kind of real justification for its existence, kind of like vegetarian sausages or Jake Paul. And that in a nutshell is what I think of the Sony Xperia XZ3 after three full days of use. Stay tuned for my in-depth camera review and my full review over on Rakombu, where you can also check out my unboxing and my tips and tricks guide as well. For more on the Xperia XZ3 and the latest greatest mobile tech, don't forget to give that subscribe button a damn good poke and I'll see you on the next thing, I guess. Yeah. Awesome.